The most difficult part of me to, um, for this restriction all this month is not having people because we, uh, we actually, when we celebrate the, uh, the Eucharist, we celebrate the Eucharist with the entire church, with uh, the people of God. And I know they want to be there. They love being there. So definitely the most difficult part is um, missing the communal aspect of the Eucharist. Even though I'm a sinner, it's, it's a miracle to see how God uses my hands to, uh, to annoy people or uses my, my voice to preach the gospel or uses my, my feet to accompany people who are alone or my arms to embrace those who are immigrants that are coming to this country. And, uh, and, and again, I'm a sinner. I'm not uh, a saint or a special person in, in the world, but it, as I said, it's a miracle for me to see how the Lord could use me in that way. In my community, it's a bilingual community. We celebrate in English and in Spanish, but we have people from Asia, from Africa. We have people from Vietnam. We have people from the Philippines. We have people from Mexico, from Colombia, Venezuela, Puerto Rico. It's a very multicultural community, and I'm so proud of this. And, uh, and it's beautiful every time we come to Mass on Sunday to see all these different people from different parts of the world that somehow they are journeying to heaven together. I'm sure we, none of us thought that we will sometime in our lives to journey to heaven together. When I give communion, to me this is a very important moment because we become one family. We become one family, even though you are from Italy or Germany or Nigeria or Vietnam or, or African American or Hispanic or Mexican or Venezuela, wherever you're from, we become sons and daughters of the same God when we share one bread and hopefully soon one cup. I have the blessing to be the pastor of Our Lady Queen of Peace Parish in Milwaukee. See you at Mass.